welcome all you party people. I love to see you guys' faces. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can't guess where I'm at. I'll give you a couple seconds, think about it. Hmm, there's a sky. Hmm, where's there a sky? About everywhere. Uh, le let's see. At the beach. <laughs> Actually, not the beach. That's just what I'm used to. This is my first time going deep sea fishing. Oh, I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect. Um, I'm hearing rumors of massive fish being caught. I'm hearing rumors of seasickness. And you know, I get car sick from not driving and didn't get car sick on the way here, so we're going good. The reason why I'm on this boat by myself is because we got here and basically uh, the shop was closed or whatever, so they had to go walk up the hill and they're gonna get their fishing licenses all, and all that. You're gonna get to meet my dad and my grandpa and then a family friend. So you guys get to experience with me my first time going deep sea fishing and uh, how goofy some of my family is. So see you guys, we're about to head out soon. So. Actually, I figured I'd just keep talking to you guys while I'm waiting. Man, it's been an early morning. We had to wake up at like 2, 2.30 um, to get to my grandpa's house by like 3, 3.30 and leave town. So I'm from Central California um, being, it's called Visalia, small town called Visalia, um, but mainly Central Valley of California. So basically, sorry getting freaked out yeah, a bit. We're a three hour drive from, uh, this is Morro Bay. I haven't been here for a while, so I'm forgetting all the names. Um, it's gonna be a fun day. I'm really excited. And I brought the drone, so uh, we'll see how that works. It's, it's a little windy, but not as windy as I expected, so um, we actually might get to fly it, and it's gonna be really nice. It'll be my first time. My first time, like, I've only actually flown it a few times, but my, I've only flown it at my house, like, so it'll be very interesting. So we're gonna get to see how that goes. So see you guys in a bit. The rumors were true. Um, I'm hearing rumors of massive fish being caught. I'm hearing rumors of seasickness. I got seasick and my grandpa caught a big fish. All right, you wanna see this? So I didn't film the whole process. I literally was in the boat sleeping for pretty much the majority of the day. I'm really sorry, I was really excited. Like I was so stoked to get some footage of like my grandpa, my dad, uh, just reeling in those fish and like the excitement on their faces because they're like kids, man. They get so excited about you know, the littlest things. Uh, and I don't get excited about much, but I was excited to film that whole process and it didn't happen. They told me, eat ginger the night before, eat ginger the morning before, and you'll be good, man. It'll be solid. It wasn't the case. I wasn't good. I wasn't solid. I'm a person who gets car sick. I get car sick and what I should have done was take some Dramamine. My mom was telling me I should. I had a good belief in the ginger from what I was hearing and the ginger let me down, man. If something works for you, stick with it. So, this is how it went. We're driving, riding out on the boat. My family friend, Dale, he's telling me, all right, so the moment we get past the break, get past the I don't know, initial swells, you're good. Like, you literally just have to get past it. And so, 
we got past it. We're going out, and I was like sick. Like I'm not gonna get sick. Right on. Like I'm good. And so I was like looking for a sandwich. I was like I'm hungry, and they're like, no, you might want to wait on that. Don't eat yet. I was like, uh, okay, okay. We see some whales. I pull out the camera, and I'm like getting these shots of the whales, and I'm so excited. I get some awesome shots of these whales. I'm looking at the, the screen on the camera and I just know it's gold, I know it's gold. And next thing I know, I check and I wasn't recording. I've been filming for six years now or more and it still happens. Yes, I still forget to hit record. Who figured, right? We go further out, we get to where we're gonna go. As soon as the boat stops, I stand up and I get hit like a rock. Dale's like, hurry, get in the boat and go to sleep. <laughs> and go to sleep so you don't puke. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I did. I went to sleep. When I should have been fishing. What the heck, man? And so I was upset. I was really upset. Like, I wanted to fish more. And I just thought to myself, man, this whole day is just going to be whack if I don't fish at all. And so I started praying. I was like, God, like, Help me feel better, help me feel better. Uh, I started feeling better. I, I stood up and, and I fished for about an hour, maybe two hours. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes things do not go as planned. You know, I was planning on catching a bunch of fish, which I actually did in that hour. Um, my first fish I caught was like a, a good size, like red snapper. I was stoked, I was really excited. And you know, but sometimes things just don't go as planned and you have to be okay with that, you know? That's what filmmaking is, you know. Humans are problem solvers, and you, you find that in a lot of fields of work, you find yourself problem solving. And literally, I saw a quote one time that it was, filmmaking is problem solving. And you experience that so much throughout filmmaking, considering you know you have a shot you want, you have a shot that you need, but there's something in the way of that. And you need to figure out how to get that shot uh, and make it, doable and know. I mentioned a drone in there you know I was really excited to get some awesome drone shots of some whales because there were whales out there some awesome drone shots of just the ocean the sea and I've only owned it for about a month so I've yet to film very much with it I've been filming around my home because I didn't get those drone shots of the ocean let's see some drone shots of where I'm at right now See you next time.